Good afternoon and welcome to BBC London News. The government has revealed plans to create the country's first environmentally friendly eco-region as part of the £9 billion regeneration of the Thames Gateway. Around 225,000 jobs are planned along with 160,000 new carbon zero homes. The launch follows a warning from MPs though that the Thames Gateway could become a public spending calamity wasting untold amounts of taxpayers' money. Our political editor Tim Donovan reports. One of the main criticisms of proposals for development in the so-called Thames Gateway is that what we're creating is soulless housing estates rather than real communities. Well, could this be different? It's called the Bridge in Dartford, uh, the first of 1,500 new homes here, the first tenants move in in three weeks' time, and the designer Wayne Hemingway has been uh, part of the team uh, responsible for this. Um, take us through the features. Well, the main thing is the housing um, looks like it's been built in 2007 rather than just something that could have come out from anywhere. It's, it's had a genuine, very good design team on it who've gone right through the detail, great landscaping. But more than that, we've worked, we've, we've worked with Dartford Council and with Taylor Wimpy on producing, you know, there's, there's already a, a, a new bus system gone in here that runs on its, own, on its own route called Fast Track, so there's public transport in here. There's already a school being built, so where people move in there'll be a fantastic new school and community hub. There's a, a, this thing called Start Innovation just being built over there where you can start a business up here or you know you could run your eBay shop from home and they will answer your phone. So, so you, you think you're doing it right, um, from what you've seen of what else is going on in the gateway, are other people getting it right? I think at the moment, I think there's some great plans for things that are going to happen, but when you get out there at the moment, in, in places like uh, Purfleet and Basildon and, and all over the place, all, you keep, all I keep seeing uh, is what you've just said, kind of soulless, identical housing developments like we've been doing for years, which feel like they're going to be, uh, have to be knocked down in 25 years. They're, they're, lack, they're lacking in all the sorts of the, f the facilities that, that, that people need to live. They, they look pr pretty ugly. And we're just, we just keep repeating mistakes. And the problem is that, yes, we've got some fantastic plans for Ebbs Fleet down the road and, and for Rochester Riverside, which no doubt will be great places. But the, this part of the Thames Gateway, the, a lot of these towns, uh, have got a bad reputation over the past few years, you know, and, and, need, and need help. And if we're just going to start with small little developments that are not very good and wait for these big ones, it just sends it further downhill. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to reverse that brand of decline. Wayne Hemingway, thank you very much indeed. Well, the government is due later on today uh, to make clear how it's going to spend another £9 billion here in the Thames Gateway. I'm joined now by John Biggs, who's Vice Chairman of the London Development Agency. Good afternoon. Um, MPs criticised the development of the Thames Gateway so far. So how is this going to be any different to that? Well, we live in a rapidly changing world, and so a whole number of things have happened in the last few years that require us to review where we've got so far. We're a lot more concerned about the environment. The Olympics have happened. The government has given greater priority to investing in public housing, for example. Um, there's a program to invest in public transport, so we're not going to create housing estates where people are left high and dry. So there's, there's an awful lot going on. Um, the criticism that there has been, I, I, I would say essentially that what we're trying to make happen in the Thames Gateway is individual areas where people know their local problems and challenges. They need to get on and solve them. We don't want to have a sort of big brother overweening. But, but you've designed these agency. things from scratch. You've designed these things from yep. scratch. Surely you should have had those things in. At the beginning, I mean, Wayne Hemingway there talking about soulless, identical housing developments. Well, we've had a pretty good idea for some time about what we need to do in general. If you're talking about housing estates and the quality of housing, we need to get that design right. Of course we do. But it's primarily down to private developers, local planning authorities, good practice, guidance from above, but uh, about local communities getting the right housing for their needs. Can you guarantee then, can you guarantee for us that there will be the right number of shops and schools for these 160,000 new homes? Well, this is, this is why it's a lot more difficult job than just doing it on the back of a fag packet, of course. And, uh, and you can never guarantee you'll get absolutely everything right. But planning a community is better to do it stepwise and get it right than to do masses of boxes which all look the same and, and don't work. Absolutely right. Okay, John Biggs from the London Development Agency. Thank you.